day guys and welcome to another video and today we're going down to Harbour City that is the new kind of plaza it looks really nice and it's been built by LOJ right on that traffic light junction across the river from Harmony Park I know that it is still under construction a little bit but I know a few stores in there has opened so I'm just going to check it out check out the vibe and of course bring you guys along with me all right let's go I'm pulling in Harbour City. Very friendly guards directing me. They're directing, making sure everything's fine. All right, so a nice car park. This is on the third floor. So we're three floors up. We have to take the elevator to go down. The security was telling me there is even more parking. Where's that? Yeah, it's a little YouTube wanting. Security giving us some information. So he's saying it have a hotel. Yeah, man. And a few stores still being built. A lot of stores have been built. Right. A lot have been not open as yet. Right. But sooner or later it will be yeah. happy to come over and enjoy. Right. So that's good, bad. And the security and them very helpful. So come ask them any questions they'll answer for you, man. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, big up Daniel. Hi, man. Hi, So here I am. That's it. Harbour City. This is the entrance from LOJ side on the junction by the lights. You can see it. That's all the noise you hear from the traffic. So let's walk in from this side. See they have Juicy Patty and they have a restaurant that open. Of course, the big famous one now is Sheen, 876 Sheen. I have a lot of seating, a nice little fountain there at the entrance. A lot of it is still, it's, it's constructed, but they have to get finishings and most of the stores still have to open. On the second floor, I'm seeing Davis Designer Boutique, I'm seeing Style Shack, Les Royal Beauty, Bar and Spa, there is an optical store, Specs Appeal, Optical Center, and then of course there is a barber shop that's called UGL, Universal Grooming Lounge. There's a Croc store, there is a Harley Davidson kind of like tourist store, and then there is a boba store that I know is open because my daughter likes boba and she really wants to go and check that. Look at the size of the Sheen store, it's an actual upstairs and downstairs store. Wow. Of course there are steps that we take to go up to the second floor that has shopping and of course then to the fourth and third floor that has parking. But we should always be mindful, you know, it's good to see development and this is such a nice space and I like how it's kind of a nice public space other than just shopping. We should always be mindful of development and not letting it run away, if you know what I mean. Jamaica is beautiful on its own, the island is pretty on its own and great to see development and I'm all for it. But I would like Jamaica not to lose that natural spark it has, not to lose that natural beauty. Developments like this tends to push aside or not cater for lower middle class or lower class and even poorer people. You know, gentrification is one thing, you just have to be mindful of it, you know, not, not let it run. So on the second floor there's a nice open spot here. And that what you're seeing there is Harmony Park. And it's separated just by that river. Wouldn't it be nice if they built a bridge over? I know that's government and this is a private entity, but these connections help and it'll be a nice flow. You come, you shop, you relax, you can walk over, take a walk, go to the beach, have one big thing. You don't think so? When here gets popular and it's already pretty popular and all the stores open, I'm foreseeing the car park is going to run out of space. But in the corner there, there is even more parking on the outside, so I'll go and check that out. It's not open yet. The ones up there is open, that's where I park. But I'm going to walk to the back because it has a nice 
ocean view. I want to get a look, you know what I mean? Look at this. That's the thing with Montego Bay. You know, you put up a shopping plaza and it's right on the water. And if you walk in by the car park, you could just get this fantastic view. So this junction is LOJ. They widen the roads, it's now double lane on that side. Have this nice bus stop. You know, it's no longer just this narrow lane. It looks really, really nice. So other than just all these stores and nice shopping, it's a nice public space it's well designed has a lot of seating really really nice i love the very contemporary feel of this place it's a kind of you know level up for this area the over there that's the sheen store and this is where you have like the croc store the harley davidson store souvenir store and over here you have the boba store there are other stores there like a wine store in the back there they haven't opened yet there's a next one up there looks like a restaurant brown i'm seeing breakfast and lunch up there and the hotel will be in the back here apparently and there is a nice little round thing here i'm not sure if it's completed yet but that's a fountain and there are shoots and then there are lights so this would look really nice when it starts to spread well, here looks really nice in the night because with the design they kind of have it light up in the night so i'll make sure i come back in the night and get some footage so let's cut it out now how here looks in the night As I said, I'm here at night, as you can see, and look how it's lit up. The posts, the light posts, and then all around has lights. But even more, check it out. Can you see it? So it's really nice in the night also. When you're passing on the outside, it also has the lights. So let's take a look. a vibe here in the night so you can still come and enjoy and you can imagine when all the stores are open how great it will be so now let's go back to the normal video any day right, guys yeah see here i'm in the elevator i walk about a lot i try to give you guys an overview and i'm heading out to my car so i'm driving out of harbour city Really nice piece of development and shopping and public space in Montego Bay, right on the LOJ traffic line. I know that a lot of it hasn't opened yet, so maybe when it's kind of fully open and that fountain is going, I could come back and, you know, do a more detailed tour, but I wanted to give you guys a good feel for it, seeing that it's pretty new. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching as always. I really appreciate you guys viewing remember for the new guys please just subscribe and go and watch back all my videos all right remember to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye